What's up, beautiful people? I just stopped by real quick to make a short video giving you guys three things you can change right now to make your life change for the better. Implement these three things. I guarantee you it will change your life for the better. The number one thing you can do, you have to change your mindset. I know you heard a hundred thousands of times the cliche that mindset is everything. Well, let me tell you, mindset is truly everything. Here's the reality. Whatever we tell ourselves becomes our truth. If you tell yourself, hey, man, I can never lose these 10 pounds. I, I, I can't do it. Guess what? You're absolutely right. You can't do it and you won't do it. If you tell yourself, man, it's too hard, man. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm never going to become debt free. Guess what? You're never going to become debt free. Mindset is everything. So how about switching it around, changing your mindset and start giving yourself positive affirmations. I can lose these 10 pounds and I will lose these 10 pounds no matter how long it takes or what I have to do to do it. I can and I will. Start feeding yourself positive affirmations. Number two, the second thing you can do is change your association. See, Association is a direct reflection of our destination. Let me break that down for you. The people you associate with right now is going to determine where you end up later on in life. See, I was once told by one of my mentors, if you hang around five broke people, then you're guaranteed to be the sixth broke person. You know what I'm saying? So it's just natural that you become a product of the environment that you're in. So why not do this? If you want to be uh, financial free or if you want to be a real estate investor, why not associate yourself with people who are doing or people who have those things you want to have? And, and people that's in your direct proximity is going to be a direct representation of whether or not you get those things that you are trying to get. And if you don't know a real estate investor or if you don't know a millionaire or a billionaire, then guess what? YouTube is a great resource. I go to YouTube University almost every day. You know, when I come home from work, you know, I get on my stationary bike and I turn on YouTube and I go to how to flip properties. I go to how to trade options. YouTube is a great resource. So now you're feeding yourself that information from people you aspire to be like, or from people who have the things that you want to have. So start associating yourself with like-minded individuals and stop taking advice and associating yourself with people who don't have the things you have. Ask yourself this question. The people who are giving you advice, are you willing to switch places with them? You know, I'm not going to go ask my bro broke uncle about financial freedom because he's not fin financially free. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And the last thing you can do is to stop making excuses and take action. See, procrastination is the assassination of our destination. See, that's another thing that has something to do with your destination, which means, man, as long as you're sitting around making excuses, not doing the things you said you were going to do, you're not going nowhere. You're still in the same place that you were a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. See, um, Albert Einstein says insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. That's insanity. So if you're doing the same thing that you were doing last year, this year is going to look like last year. So stop making excuses and take action. Go all in for yourself. A lot of times, man, we go to work and we give somebody else, we give another boss, the person that we're working for, 110 percent. You know what I'm saying? We go all out for them. We give them eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hours a day. How many hours are you willing to give yourself for your dreams, for the things you want? Go all in for yourself and stop making excuses. See, I heard from one of my, my mentors, Nehemiah Davis, man, a young inspirational brother who always spitting fire. He says a lot of times people take time for granted, take life for granted. You know, we keep putting things off like tomorrow is promised. Like, you know, OK, I'll, I'll open that business in two weeks. I'll open that business next year. I'll open that business next month. Like 
two weeks from now is promised. Like next month is promised. Like next year is promised. Stop putting it off. Stop putting off what you can do right now for tomorrow, for another day. Take action and take action now. How long you been telling yourself you was going to start a business? How long you been telling yourself you was going to write a book? Stop making excuses. A lot of people get, you know, paralyzed for fear of failure, thinking, okay, if I do do it and it don't work, then then, then how am I going to look? Well, how about this? Let me go back to that mindset. How about saying, if I do do it and it does work, what happens? So instead of saying what happens if it don't work, if I if I fail, start saying what happened if it works and, that, and if I succeed. So implement those three things in your in your life right now, today, starting today. And I guarantee you, your life will change for the better. Be blessed and make it a great day.